Lawmakers returned to the state house this week after a three week break. KSNT News reporter Molly Pat tells us what lawmakers are saying as they return to work. It's been a few quiet weeks here at the Capitol, but that won't be the case for long because lawmakers return tomorrow for the veto session to begin, and a lot of them say they're ready for it to start. The three week break that's going to be long in the past now allows the governor to consider recently passed legislation. State lawmakers have a hard date of May 4th as the final day of session, meaning the legislature will not be able to override any vetoes that the governor may issue after May 4th. And some say they're going to take advantage of every minute they have. Which is good for us. We got work to do. So I, I, I hope it, it makes things um, concise, that we work through things quickly and we get done what we need to get done. And then go home. We're in a crisis situation. We don't have the funding we need currently to support our uh, regular budgets, and we we need change. The key focuses of this veto session will include what is on everybody's mind, the $80 million heir to the school funding bill, basically bringing that bill right back to its original intent. Other big discussion points during the veto session will be tax cuts and finalizing the budget. So while it may look quiet now, that won't be the case for long because there will be a lot of big discussions happening right here over the next eight days. At the Capitol, I'm Molly Pat, KSNT News. And the $80 million error in the school funding bill showed that if it was left uncorrected, schools would be provided less money. And several lawmakers say they are working to address that error quickly. You can visit KSNT.com or download our KSNT News app for updates on that veto session.